my name is Tina, I'm head of design of Victoria Designs and we have another crafting kit for you, the Vintage Library Crafting Printables Kit. Alexandra from the YouTube channel Alexandra M has turned our printables into wow craft projects, like wow. Alexandra shows the most amazing crafting projects and tutorials on her YouTube channel, so if paper crafting is your thing, head over there and subscribe. You won't regret it. In this video, Alexandra is going to show you our Vintage Library Crafting Printables Kit and the stunning crafts she created with it. The tutorial will be in a separate video. If you would like to know more about this Vintage Library Kit, you can hop over to her shop, the link is below. And now let me give the word to Alexandra. Hello everyone, my name is Alexandra and in today's tutorial, which is by the way another collaborations of mine with amazing Victoria Designs, I'm going to show you how to create this journal, notebook, stationery stand or organizer. And I'm also going to show you how to create a journal which will fit in one of the compartments of the uh, stand. The stand has three compartments. This is how it looks from the side. And this is the back. I love the papers. The paper pack that I'm using for my today's project is called Vintage Library and the pack includes 24 journal pages uh, with the help of which you will create the uh, journal uh, that I will show you in a second right here. Um, the pack also contains eight background papers and uh, I used uh, some of the big background papers to mat the sides of um, the stand as well as the uh, inside panels and um, one of the background pages is this book cover vintage book cover print which is absolutely amazing and I think that any journal that you add this uh, page as a front cover will definitely look vintage and uh, it will look gorgeous. So um, the next thing that the paper pack includes are six sheets of printable ephemera and when you cut them out you can use them for embellishing either the pages of your journal or like in this case I cut them out and used them on the front panel of the um, of the stand um, to make it look interesting. So let's have a look at the inside of the stand. Uh, so at the very bottoms there I didn't use a uh, pattern paper. As you can see it is just craft paper in there but on the panels here and also on the sides and uh, on the backs of the uh, dividers right here. I used one of the background sheets from the Vintage Library uh, paper pack and I must say that this background paper is one of my favorites in this in this uh, in this pack. I absolutely love collaged uh, library cards and uh, different uh, scripts and even I can see here there is a, a front cover of the um, studying book probably for calligraphy so really it's it's just amazing in my previous uh, tutorial which was also a collaboration with Victoria Designs we created this discover the woods journal and I just want to show you how it fits this uh, stand as well so that means that you can basically fit both of the journals in here and have this compartment for uh, some smaller uh, receipts or cards or anything you'd want to have on your uh, table um, easy to reach let's put these things um, aside for now and I will show you the uh, journal and there are three signatures in this journal and as you can see the binding looks a little bit different maybe from what we are uh, used uh, to see in the journals uh, 
and um, this is a, a new method of binding for me as well so um, that's the first time that I create something like this I don't know how it's called but one of the advantages uh, of this binding is that um, especially when you have a journal with a, a hard uh, spine and not the soft spine is that when you uh, open it uh, the pages still um, lay flat and you can easily flip through them this is the binding once again and you can see that the pages actually stand about three eighths of an inch away from the spine itself and that mere fact allows them to lay flat once again on the front cover what I did since it was quite um, difficult to match the size of the uh, background a page to the size of the journal itself you can see that I found a solution that I just layered uh, an additional um, uh, piece of uh, craft cardstock behind the printed um, uh, vintage book cover and I also stitched, zigzag stitched um, around the edges, the same uh, with the back. I did the same thing, printed the sheet with the book cover and glued it down to an additional uh, piece of craft cardstock and zigzag stitched all uh, around the four uh, edges of it. The journal, the word itself, comes in the... Um, project pack so you will be able to find it there so I cut this um, word out and layered it on um, a piece of leather which happened to be almost the same color as um, uh, the decorative uh, pieces on the printed vintage book cover and then I just layered another piece of muslin there um, behind the leather piece and um, I think it created a rather nice look um, as you can see I still have some threads uh, fraying but that's okay I can pull them out and it will be uh, okay so on the inside of the front cover I have this uh, pocket that is uh, also included in the uh, ephemera cutout sheets and I have a few journaling cards um, to which I added more of the words. You will find a lot of different words in this project pack, so you're welcome to either add it the way I did or do something else. Um, then uh, here in this pocket, I added another um, little library pocket that was also part of the project pack, and I added a really tiny paper clip, and then added another card inside for some additional interest. Here is a piece of washi tape, decorative faux washi tape, which is included in the pack. And I secured it with a bread in there and glued it down to the whole page. And I really liked that uh, um, you have uh, two Ex Libris cards in the pack, so this is one of them. And once again, I just layered it on the craft cardstock and zigzag stitched all around to secure it on the on the page. Then uh, it's really needless to say that the vintage feel of the journal pages pages is amazing as um, usually uh, with the Victoria designs. Uh, journal packs. There was this uh, library pocket from Chicago Public Library included in the project pack and I just cut a slid in it and glued, um, glued it down to the page only at the bottom and um, at the top and then I was able to slide one of the cards um, inside and I think it looks really interesting. Then part of my pages are printed from both sides as you can see and I explain about the way of printing the pages in the tutorial and um, some pages are just plain tea dyed um, uh, printing paper sheets and I alternated between 
the printed pages and the tea dyed ones and I think this way I um, will have uh, more uh, space for uh, both journaling and um, decorative uh, pages to um, embellish more so yeah what else we have here so I added another pocket on this page and this is the second signature I don't think I added anything special to the pages in here because they are um, they are uh, already embellished to perfection with uh, all the digital um, elements that uh, Victoria Designs um, designers have added to them. So they're really pretty. And this is the third signature, which is uh, built the same way as the two previous ones. Okay, so on the back, on the inside of the back cover, uh, I have layered a few elements from the ephemera uh, cutout sheets and uh, here I just added, there was this um, open book and I just added a cover to it, uh, stamped here this flourish and added the word soul and uh, this um, image, the circle image is a, a punch from one of the, oh I think that's the one. Yeah, this is one of the cards which is included in the ephemera pack, um, which is included in the ephemera sheets. And I just used my circle punch to punch this cute lady out. And I layered it with another um, a piece of craft cardstock and created the book, which can be opened this way. And this is the same thing. This little book is kept closed with a magnet. And then this one is kept closed with this um, swing tab um, that I attached to the page using a little bread. Okay, so that's the journal. And it goes to the uh, back compartment right here. So that's the stand and the journal. I also want to mention that I um, didn't have a chance to create uh, tutorials for both of these since the whole tutorial was getting very long. And um, I think you guys, uh, crafters out there, will be able to replicate these easily um, once you have the dimensions of the panels. I will show these to you uh, closer to the end of the second part of our tutorial and I will give you the measurements of the uh, folio and this accordion uh, ephemera holder so that in case you want to recreate them you will be able to do that. And the papers are of course from the same vintage library uh, paper pack by Victoria Designs.